In the previous video, we demonstrated how a sales executive can get a high-level overview of performance using a sales executive summary dashboard created with SAP BI tools. The executive was able to identify an area that needed attention and then communicated that to the appropriate regional manager. In this demonstration, we will show how a sales manager can respond to the request from the executive level. As you can see, using a web browser, I as a sales manager can navigate to a pre-configured URL to access the BI Launchpad. You may need to enter credentials here or you may have a single sign-on already established. Now once you're logged in, it will take you directly to a default folder associated with your user ID. As you can see, this folder here includes all my reports such as the executive sales summary that we looked at in a previous demonstration. We also have a sales item detail webby report, which we'll take a closer look at. And then we also have the delivery item detail report, which is an analysis for office report, allowing even deeper detail with another tool. So as a sales manager, I want to access the sales item details report to see if I can identify any issues or if anything stands out that could be causing the drop in our August sales. Here we have a web intelligence report, which is a report pre-configured to be able to print out neatly to a PDF. It also allows for a lot of interactivity for the user so they can pivot and analyze data as needed. As this report loads, we see a prompt pop up. In the communication from our sales executive, I know that my main concern here is the Southwest Denver office. Those were the numbers that were flagged. For the time frame, we are concerned with August of 2016. So now we've got that entered and we will run the report. Now we can see a sales item detail report showing the date we ran the report in the left side footer and then page numbers on the right footer. At the top, this report is identified as the Southwest Denver Sales Office, and then below, we see the individual sales groups, sales orders, and other details. From my perspective here as the sales manager, nothing at this point stands out. But with this tool, we are able to edit some things to get us a better look. For example, we can see if there have been any items returned. Perhaps that's what's caused the dip in revenue. I will click on Available Objects, then drag Returned Items out, drop that, and then change the label in that column to reflect what it represents. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have any returns shown here. There are no negative values here in the Quantity column, no negative gross sales, everything still looks like it's doing well. So. Maybe the problem is with deliveries, with inventory, perhaps with the shipping department. We can save this report and send it off just to confirm to whoever that the sales item report is not providing any relevant detail. Let's close out of here. Now we can launch the delivery item detail report. This is opening the delivery item detail analysis for office report. This actually downloads a copy of the report to your desktop. This shows you a simple report as a starting point. Delivery document and delivery document items, quantities, actual delivered quantities, gross amounts. You see all this here. From here we can click on display and launch our display design panel. As a reminder, we are concerned with the Denver Office Southwest sales data. So we can select to bring in the sales office name. and we want to filter this to the appropriate office. And we can use a background filter to look specifically at August of 2016. We can now add a couple more details, delivery date, which should only show August numbers, We can bring in delivery document and reference sales document. Now we can take a closer look at the data. Okay, so looking at order quantities and our delivery quantities, right away 
I can see our delivery quantity is lower than the sales quantity, so that concerns me. I'm able to add a new calculation for a delivery difference. You see, once we add that, it shows up as the last column, so we can go back into the display design panel and then choose to move that over to a better position. I can now more clearly see there's a significant amount of undelivered items. I'm able to add some additional formatting to highlight this. And now I can see even more clearly that for the month of August, uh, now it's quite evident we have an issue with delinquent deliveries. Our sizable dip in sales for August can be directly attributed to this here. At this point, we have the information we need and we can then send this report off to inventory or shipping and drill further into this issue. As a sales manager, I can address this at a month-end sales meeting, providing a few slides to show that uh, to show what we've discovered here from the sales executive dashboard to the sales item detail report and then finally the delivery item detail report. And that concludes this demonstration.